Hi guys, what we're going to quickly talk about today then is the layering system. What we're going to do to help you understand the layering system is to use the example of the house that you're living in and then relate these the parts of the house to the layering system. So let's talk about the shell or the brickwork and the roof. Now the shell layer is the layer which keeps you protected against the elements. It stops the wind and the rain from penetrating and then um, accessing your body underneath your layers. Now the next part of the layering system is the mid layer or the insulation between the brickwork. Here I'm wearing a ripstorm light shirt and this has a fleece in a liner. Now the fleece helps keep you warm by trapping the heat and catching it between the fibres. It also has a windproof nylon outer. And then when I'm not wearing my shell layer, this will help protect me and keep me warm against the wind. On the inside, we have our base layer. Now we can relate the base layer to the breeze blocks and also the plasterboard inside your home. Now the base layer is your um, first protection against the elements. Now all three of these layers will help keep you warm and dry when you're out in the countryside. However, the idea of a layering system is to enable you to adapt and take off and add clothing suited to the situation. I.e. if it's not raining and you don't need to wear your outer shale layer, then we take that off. If it's cold but not raining, then we keep on the mid layer. If it's a warm day and we feel it's necessary, then we take off both the shell layer and the mid layer and then we can just use the, um, the base layer as our protective system against the sun. This is quickly then an example of a layering system and is by no means a fixed and firm system that you should use, it is just advice. Thanks very much.